Good morning. Today we will install the APB software that is used to support the APB uh, micro PLC family offered by England Products. To do the installation, we will go to the englandproducts.com website and scrolling down, go to the PLC section, PLC support, click on that, and we come to a page showing the different support packages we offer. Um, since we're looking at the APB controller, we will go to the APB development software, click on that. It opens a box and asks us if we want to open it, which we'll do. Well, it's downloading. We see that we've also have an APB uh, DSUB driver software. We'd use that if we were going to actually install the hardware. Today, we're just looking at the software tools, so we won't bother loading that. The process is very similar. We've also got some application notes and we can download the software from those application notes. Depending on the type of zip file extraction tool you own, um, you'll come up with a screen. In this case, I double click this, see the uh, setup exe file, start that up, and it goes through some standard disclaimers and eventually comes up and asks me that I want English, yes and it goes through the installation process. We'll collapse this window since we're done with it. And it uh, walks us through. We ask, do we want a complete installation? Yes. We'll let it default to all the uh, default directories it wants to use. And it will go through the installation process. Again, um, on the application notes, each one of them addresses a specific technical issue that you may face in standard industrial controls. There's also generic comparisons between the two product families and support packages for the SR controller. We've now finished installation, so we'll click on the finish screen and we'll go over and see that um, under our program section Go down to Array, APB, and the APB software. Once the APB software has been installed, we can go over and open up a new application. The application we'll use is a uh, standard 12 IO point DC powered device. We'll open that up. And we wind up with a screen showing uh, various networks. Think of a network basically as a, uh, uh, a particular page of your program. You can have multiple pages or in some cases a single page. We want to uh, get going very quickly so let me show you the I.O. bar. It shows the I.O. status of all the uh, I.O. points on our device. And we'll move uh, an input over We'll move an output over. We'll connect the output. Notice that it identifies what point it's being connected to. This is connected to the physical I.O. point zero. This is connected to an internal memory register. So we'll change that by going in, double clicking it. It opens up a property box. Every I.O. Every I block has a property associated with it. In this case, Q stands for output. We'll have that go to output zero. And we'll put in a comment. We'll just call that motor. Don't need to, but it helps kind of understand the program. Now, we want the input switch to connect to the output. And we will give this input switch the name of start. We now have a very simple simple control system. So if we go in and hit the simulate button, we can see that if we click on the input, the output turns off. On. Down below we see that the input's on and the output's on. If we click this off, it shows that's off and that's off. So we've now got a very simple circuit up and running. It's taken us less than five minutes. I encourage you to look at some of the other videos. We'll actually develop a real application and uh, take a look at some of the features that we have within the APB software.
Thank you very much.